Hello friends, this video on integers part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now see how do we multiply three integers. Till now we have learned about handling two integers at a time. Maybe a positive integer with a positive integer or a positive integer with a negative integer or a negative with a negative integer. Let's see how do we handle three integers at a time. So here also we will take different scenarios. Let us first consider the scenario where we have a negative integer, a positive integer and a positive integer. So let us take an example. Let's say minus 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. So you have one negative and two positives. So how do we multiply this? Now this is pretty simple because multiplying positive integer with positive integer will anyways give you positive result. So you can multiply them first and then you can write it as 4. 2 into 2 is 4. Now you are left with two integers again that is a negative integer and a positive integer. What happens when you multiply a negative and a positive integer? You simply find the product and put a negative sign. So this is how you could handle this scenario. Now this was a simpler scenario. Let's look at the second scenario where you have all the three negative integers. So something like this minus 3 multiplied by minus 3 multiplied by minus 3. So here you see all of them are negative integer. Now it is not necessary that all the integers need to be the same integer. I'm saying that any number of integers but let's say that there are three negative integers. So what would happen? So in this case also we will do the same thing. First you multiply the first two. So minus 3 into minus 3. So multiplying two negative integers, you find the product and put a plus sign. So this would be plus 9 multiplied by minus 3. So again, you have the same scenario, two integers, one positive, one negative. So what you do, you find the product and put a minus sign. So how much did you get? Minus 27. Now let us say that in case we have four integers, all of them are negative, something like this minus 3 minus 3 and one more minus 3 so anyways when you talk about the product product is all about just so what happens in this case so let us follow the same process here so minus 3 into minus 3 would be 9 again minus 3 and into minus 3 would be 9 so this would be 81 now do you observe something when there were three negative numbers you got a minus sign in the result when there are four negative numbers you get a plus sign in the result so and I hope that you understand why is that happening because whenever they are two minus signs the result is a plus sign right so from this what we conclude is if the number of negative integers if in case you are multiplying only negative integers maybe 5 negative integers 10 negative integers 6 7 12 15 whatever number but if the number of negative integers number of negative integers if this number is even then the result would be positive and if the number of negative integers is odd then the result would be negative so something of this sort like here the number of negative integers was odd 1 2 3 therefore the result was negative here the number of negative integers is even 1 2 3 4 therefore the result is positive now it is not necessary for this rule to apply doesn't matter whether the numbers are the same or they are different for example if you have something like minus 12 multiplied by minus 1 multiplied by minus 231 multiplied by minus 30 so if you are multiplying this so how many numbers do how many integers do you have 1 2 3 4 so 4 that is the number of negative integer is even therefore the result would be positive now what the result would be for that you will definitely need to find the product but the sign for the result will always be positive so this is a very interesting observation and this is a very uh, simple tip that you can remember whenever you are finding products of integers because as far as finding products of integers is concerned the main problem comes with the sign that what would be the sign of the result now let us look at the third scenario where we say that we have a negative integer, a positive and a negative integer. So let us take this example, minus 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by minus 6. So you have a negative, positive, negative. 
so in this case how do we proceed we first multiply the two negative integers let's multiply these so minus 3 into minus 6 6 3 is 18 and two negative signs so it will be positive so 2 into 18 and this is going to be 36 right now in this case also if you try to apply the last tip that we learned how many negative integers do we have we have two negative integers 3 and 6 now the number of negative integers is even therefore the result would be positive so therefore the tip that we need to follow is whenever the number of negative integers is even the product is positive and when the number of negative integers is odd the pro product is always negative. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.